New tonight, a woman's charged with lighting a house on fire and killing the woman she lived with. And LaPorte police say the victim was a 72 year old woman and only on 13. Her son is speaking about her death. ABC 13's Alex Bozarjian is live with what he told her and the latest on this case, Alex. Eric, police say 72 year old Connie Fortune took 34 year old Sarah Flores in. Flores, the suspect here, was somewhat like a live in employee and she would do house chores in order to earn her keep. But according to friends and family, the suspect and the victim, their relationship started to get rocky and Fortune wanted Flores out of the house and told her to leave. Then on Monday morning, police say Flores returned and lit her house on fire. She confessed to everything, but she never specified what her motive was. This is a reunion under the worst possible circumstances. A brother and sister broken hearted after someone set their mom's house on fire while she was still inside. It really hasn't hit me even now, even being here. It still hasn't hit me. Not really. It will later, I'm sure. A lot of people knew Connie Fortune. She ran the local food pantry for years, where she touched a lot of lives along the way. She was a very good person. Outside of my mom, one of the best women I've ever met in my life. I'm helping people trying to get clean. Tony Felcher says his mom was always taking people in who were going through hard times. One of those people was Sarah Flores. My mom did a lot of things trying to help this person, including sending them to rehabs. But the relationship became strained last year when Flores was charged with drug possession. According to court documents, it was methamphetamine. Fortune no longer wanted her around, according to friends and family. Then on Monday, Fortune's house went up in flames. LaPorte police say Flores fully admitted to lighting the fire. To have something like this happen to anybody is crazy. I've never seen anything so devastating in my life. Oh, wow. Nearly all of the things Fortune collected over the years are scorched. Felcher says it makes this a lot more painful. He can't help but think his mom let the wrong person in and she paid the ultimate price for it. I can't believe my mother's kindness is the thing that got her killed. It's heart wrenching, but it is a lesson to be learned right now. Be careful who you trust. Flores is facing charges for arson and murder. The DA's office tells me that she's expected back in court tomorrow at 9 a.m.